the tedious old conversation about video games not being considered art has died down in recent years. While games aren't widely acclaimed for their plots or psychological depth, that's not to say developers don't inject them with meaning. They have a long time during development to sneak hidden messages and meanings into their creations. Here are some of the best hidden messages and secrets unearthed over time. I'm Jess from What Culture, and here are 10 iconic video games with hidden messages you totally missed. Number 10. Spanish Tombstone – Uncharted Drake's Fortune The original Uncharted feels a bit dated now compared to its sequels, but it's still a fun adventure and introduced the world to Drake and his merry band of thieves. Naughty Dog likes to throw the occasional easter egg into their games, like the newspaper report in Uncharted 3 that hints at the impending apocalypse seen in The Last of Us. Any Spanish speakers playing through the original might also have noticed a cheeky message written on a gravestone during Chapter 15. If you care to read it, the rough translation calls you a big nerd for doing so and suggests you need to get out of the house. This did cause some offence to the handful of people who noticed it, but it's hard to take such a tongue-in-cheek message seriously. Number 9. Headcrab Whales Decoded – Half-Life 2 while we wait and wait and wait for Half-Life 3 to come around, fans are still finding nuggets buried away in the original games. Valve put a lot of thought and playtesting into their games, refining everything down to its core elements. But the enemies have a lot of thought put into them too, making them feel like real creatures instead of bullet sponges. The famous headcrab zombies from the original return in Half-Life 2 with the Ravenholm segment, which is overrun with them, and it quickly became the most iconic level of the series. Valve also added a disturbing little detail to them that's really easy to miss. The zombies have a signature wail that hints at the humanity beneath, but if the audio of this yell is reversed, phrases like dear god help and help me can be clearly heard, confirming the poor souls are aware of what's happening to them, even as you bludgeon them with a crowbar. Damn, Valve, that's messed up. Number 8. Jill's Secret Diary – Resident Evil Nemesis Resident Evil 3 was the last hurrah for the franchise on the original PlayStation, but for some reason it isn't lauded as the previous two entries are. That could be because there's a greater focus on action, but it still packs plenty of tension, and Nemesis is one of the all-time greatest villains in gaming. The plot follows series regular Jill Valentine while she tries to escape Raccoon City, whilst being chased by an unstoppable monster armed with a great big rocket launcher. It's classic fare, and while Jill is hardly a deep character, the developers hid some nice character insight for fans willing to put in the effort. If players collect all the files within the game, which involves a bit of planning, they'll be rewarded with Jill's secret diary, a hidden file detailing her thoughts following the end of the original leading up to the events of Nemesis. Number 7. No Easter Eggs – Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Rockstar absolutely love to pack silly easter eggs and in-jokes into their games, and make fun of fans for seeking them out. GTA 3 had lots of little secrets to uncover, such as the hidden alley that players can access with a little creativity, which has a sign reading, you weren't supposed to be able to get here, you know. San Andreas has plenty of gags like this too. There was even a famous rumour that Bigfoot himself could be found, which led many players to obsessively hunt for him, only for the developers to sadistically confirm years later he was never in the game. They managed to top the GTA 3 gag with the Gantt Bridge message, which requires a jetpack for the player to reach. If you fly all the way to the top, you're rewarded with the sign, there are no easter eggs here, go away. Charming. Number 6. Woods is Alive – Call of Duty Black Ops Frank Woods proved to be a fan favourite after his appearance in Black Ops, but it seemed unlikely we'd be seeing more of him. He appears to be blown up by a villainous henchman near the end of the game, and while we don't technically see him die, the size of the explosion doesn't put the odds in his favour. Activision must have predicted his popularity since they teased his survival in the game. If Mason gets out of his interrogation chair in the main menu, he can access a computer terminal nearby. If he types in a specific code, the following message appears. Woods is alive and remains the sole remaining American guest of the Hanoi Hilton. Needless to say, Black Ops 2 reveals Wood survived after all. They even reveal how. During the struggle in the original game, it turns out his knife severed the grenade belt of their henchmen, sending it flying away from them both at the last second. Not terribly believable, but we'll take it. Number 5. Calendar Man's Message – Batman Arkham City while there had been a couple of good Batman games before it, Arkham Asylum blew everything else out of the water. Arkham City then took all that was great and expanded further, giving players a larger slice of Gotham to play in. 
One of the villains encountered is the fearsome Calendar Man, who is really, really good with dates. Players soon realised if they visit him on certain dates, he'll impart rare pieces of info. Rocksteady hid a message for players so thoroughly that when nobody discovered it, they hinted towards it themselves three years later. If players set their console date to December 13th, 2004, the day Rocksteady was founded, Calendar Man will say a unique message alluding to the end of the series with Arkham Knight, stating he was there at the beginning and will be there at the end. Good to his word, if you scan the crowd for Arkham Knight's final scene, Calendar Man can be spotted in the background. Number 4. Nicole is Dead – Dead Space Dead Space was the natural progression of the survival horror genre post Resi 4, in that it tried to mesh action together with scares. While it was tough to be genuinely frightening thanks to the large amount of weapons the player can carry, it did have its share of unsettling moments. It also has a surprisingly emotional ending when Isaac learns his girlfriend Nicole, who he's spent the game trying to find, has been dead the entire time. For anyone paying attention to the level names, the developers were literally spelling this out. If you take the first letter of the title of each level, it reads, Nicole is dead. Replaying the game also gives you clues to Nicole's fate, and while Dead Space is hardly up there with Silent Hill 2 in terms of psychological horror, it's nice to see developers put some thought into the small details. Number 3. Konami Help Lang – Silent Hill Shattered Memories this excellent remake of the original Silent Hill doesn't get mentioned much, which is a pity. Dated Memories takes psychological horror to the next level by literally psychoanalyzing you while you play, and making you take personality tests. This affects the world and characters around you, making for several unique playthroughs. Throughout the game, your trusty mobile becomes indispensable, allowing you to make important calls and take photos. There are various numbers you come across on flyers and posters too, and if you're cheeky enough to call the actual Konami helpline, things Things get very meta. When the operator realizes the call is coming from inside Silent Hill, she informs the player they're beyond even their help. Nicely played, Konami. It still doesn't make up for Silent Hills, though. Speaking of which. Number 2. Kojima erases his past. Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes. While Ground Zeroes was a solid game, there just wasn't enough of it. It's essentially one big level that can be completed within two hours on the first run, plus some flimsy bonus missions that take place on the same map. It's fun while it lasts, but it doesn't last very long. While working on Metal Gear Solid 5, the relationship between creator Hideo Kojima and Konami broke down, and it appears Kojima saw this coming. One of the bonus missions is called Deja Vu, which finds the player seeking out the logos of previous Metal Gear games and erasing them. When the last one disappears, Master Miller congratulates you with the message, You did it! You erased all the markings, but every one of them will always be with you. While the mission appeared innocent enough at the time, soon Kojima's company logo and directing credit disappeared from MGS5 cover art and promotional material, confirming the nasty split. While he's never confirmed it, this message is clearly a not-so-subtle swipe at his former employer. Number 1. Happy Birthday Lauren – Halo 3 Halo 3 was the end of the trilogy, and while it didn't make any great innovations to the formula, it was a satisfying cap to the story. Developers Bungie also sprinkled a few secrets in there for fans to uncover, like the insanely creepy family of monkeys with human faces. Ugh. But there was one message so well hidden that it took seven years for fans to find, and that was only because the developer who hid it tipped off the fans. It was eventually discovered that if players set the clock on their Xbox to December 25th and then toggle the thumbsticks at the main menu, a new screen will pop with a ring on it. Zoom into the ring and the following message from a developer to his wife will appear. Happy birthday, Lauren. Probably not the mind-melting secret players were seeking, but it's a sweet message all the same. Let me know down in that comment box if you can think of any other iconic video games with hidden messages that you reckon most players totally missed. As always, I've been Jess from War Culture. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. You can come say hi to me on my Twitter if you like, where I'm at JessMcDonald, but make sure you stay tuned to us here for plenty more great content.